Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, I'm gonna show you free apps that you can download on your Mac, and probably you didn't even know they existed. <laughs> Let's start with the first app. The first app is called Local Send. So let's type Local Send in our Spotlight search. And there it is. This is a really, really simple app, but very useful. It is like AirDrop, but with no compatibility issue. So you can download the same app on your iPhone or maybe on your Android or maybe on your Windows PC everywhere, really. And then you can just open the app like this. You can see that we have two names right here on this device and another name right here on the other device. You can select receive, send, or maybe you can just go through settings. But anyway, let's make an example. So I want to send something from my phone to my MacBook. So I'm going to hit send and you can see in the nearby devices, you can already see the MacBook. So it is called Good Laros. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select whatever I want. Let's go, for example, with media, select this photo right here and then hit confirm and then click on the device that I want to send it. Just hit the device and then you can see that on my MacBook, it says that this device and it says also iPhone right here wants to send me a file. So accept it and there we go very, very easily transfer and very, very fast. Same stuff. You can do it vice versa. So you can do right here, receive, then you can hit on the Mac, you can hit send, then you can select whatever file you want right here, and then you can just send whatever you want all over your devices. Anyway, it's a little bit better than AirDrop if you are used to AirDrop, because for me, it seems like a little bit faster. And also for now, it doesn't give me any error while I'm sending files. Then another app, it is called FanCat and you can see it right here on the top of my menu bar on the MacBook and you can see there is a little car just going with the CD in the background. By default, it does have a cat running, so that's why it's called RunCat and what it basically does when your MacBook, it is like loaded or it is working a lot more, this cat is it's running faster than if your Mac is in idle or maybe it's not doing anything very heavy. It is not running that fast. You can see it is changing speed while I'm doing something on my Mac. If I click on that, you can see also some info about your Mac. So you can see your CPU status, so your CPU load, your memory load, your storage, your battery life included, your cycle count and temperature, very, very useful. Then you can select, of course, the runners. So there are a lot of cats. There is also the Nyan cat for the nostalgic, I guess, and some other funny stuff. So you can select whatever you want from here. For example, I've selected the city. So you can see this car just going on with the city in the background. Very, very cool in my opinion. And also useful because, as I said, it gives you also some info, some important info about your MacBook. Then the next app, it's very, very popular, at least if you are coming from Windows, in my experience, because VLC Media Player. So it is a very, very simple app because it is just a media player, but it is one of the most complete media player that you can find on the, on the web. It is the best because you can open pretty much anything with this media player you will not have any incompatibility issue or anything like that. And also you can use a very important feature that this app has, and it is the convert feature. So you can see right here, you can convert any media in pretty much a lot of files type right here. So maybe if you want to convert a video in only audio, you can convert it by just using VLC. So very, very simple, but very useful app. If you didn't know that before, just download it because, I mean, you will not have any other problem opening like videos or audios, whatever. It just opens everything. Then another fun app that I want to show you, it is called Notchmeister and it's really, really simple. It does take advantage of your notch if you have one of the newest MacBook. So basically one with the notch. It's very simple. It's not a useful app. It is just fun to have it. but 
as I was saying, it's very simple. You just open the app and then you can just select whatever effect you want to apply to your notch. And for example, I'm going to show you the glow. So when you will get close to the notch, it will glow inside the notch and I mean under the notch. So you can see also the cursor where it is because under the notch you will not see your cursor. By using that, you will see it very, very well. And I think it's a very cool feature and very, very fun to have. So you can select whatever effect you want right here, like this, with the notch just moving. And the plasma leak, very cool, in my opinion, one of the best. Because Christmas is coming, you have festive, so you have these lights going on, just hanging out of your notch. Very, very cool. And then you have a bunch of other effects. They are also very, very cool and very, very funny to have. So if you want to use it, just remember Notchmeister. It's free to download. You can just download it on the App Store. Then another useful app that you can have on your MacBook, it is called Funny. And I have it open right here on the top. You can see this three line right here. This is funny, but not funny as funny, but like this. So this is the app. You can see these three lines right here. And if you click on this icon right here, you can see that you have the fans so you can monitor your fan. In my case, I have a MacBook Pro, so it does have a fan inside and I can see it right here. How much it spins, if it spins. It's very useful because, I mean, it's a free app and you can always monitor how your MacBook is working and if it's working a lot. And you can use it together with the RunCut app right here. So you can see the load on your system. And right here, you can see your fan, if it's going, if it's not going, how much fast it's going, if you are interested into those things. Also, it should have the indicator for the temperature, but it seems like it doesn't work, at least maybe for the newest MacBook, I don't know. But right now you have only the info of your fans. But anyway, it is always something nice to have and especially if it's free. Anyway, these were my free apps that I have for you on this video. Let me know down below in the comments. If you found any of this app useful, tap it down below in the comments. And if you have some more apps to suggest, just tap it down below in the comments. In any other case, if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below and also subscribe to my channel because I mean, it's free. And as always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.